silly little gnomes. Just carved Rob. Adding some silly little ears to his gnomes. Adding some silly little boots to his gnomes. Okay, Jess Carver, how about today I'm at my chainsaw carving shop and I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm coming for you, Jess Carver, oh yes I am. Oh yes I am. Hey everybody, so I thought it would be easier to do a voiceover for the first part of this video. That's a cedar log that I got at Beach Coleman last week. I carried it over my shoulder. I knew it was dry cedar, so I thought that uh, it would be a good one to use. For the gnome I'm going to carve today, it's going to be, I say in the video, a studio on the lake kind of gnome thing. So, I guess this would be called the wedge cut. These cuts always kind of take a while because you're cutting against the grain, kind of with the grain. I'm just using a still 170 with a stock bar on there. And so... You're doing the gnomes caps, you can do them pointy ones, you can do them tilted over, you can do them any kind of way you want to do. I'm just kind of shooting to go uh, get this done quick. So I'm just doing a simple one. And I'm going to be pulling out, there's a little Echo 2511 with the 8 inch cannon bar on it. This uh, Echo, I still got, I'm still trying to figure out the bar oil. It always, it shoots on the muffler and it always makes us... Uh, the saw smoke quite a bit you'll see so here i am uh cutting out the nose and no clear it's not a penis head dirty little mine there just kidding um so there i am super simple to do and you know it's the same same thing goes with dremel carving just getting the hat carved out then uh the nose so here i am pulling out of the jaw horse now i put this piece of wood down I lock it into the jaw horse and I screw the gnome onto it. Here's the piece, this is what I use to do the pumpkins. See the screws up underneath? So I lock that into the jaw horse. Okay, lock it up. I'll put the gnome on it and I'll screw up underneath. So this this way, it, it, it takes a few minutes to put it on, but it saves you a lot of time in the long run because you don't um, have to pull the piece in and out of your jaw horse you can carve 360 all the way around it right so my big fat head in the way guess you don't need to see me screwing the screw in anyways but that's what I'm doing screwing up and under just with deck screws and when I'm done like when I pull the screw out I just throw it away and I, they're just so cheap you can always buy more right so because they I don't know I'm terrible at stripping screws you guys will see at the end of the video and um so there's the, the beards carved in i'm just running around you'll see the saw saw start smoking a bit here soon so i'm cutting the studio on the lake arms and i call them that's where i got the idea from is ben at studio on the lake so that's why i call them the studio on the lake gnomes so cutting the other arm in just tuck so the arms are tucking underneath the beard I'm terrible at carving hands, so that's the last thing I want to do is carve hands. I'm sure, sure I could carve them, but I'd just rather avoid carving them. As somebody I know once told me, he avoids carving them too. You know who you are if you're watching this video. There I am quickly cutting the beard hairs in. This is just a real quick uh, carving, people. You know, so find yourself a piece of soft wood and just a branch you could with your Dremel. Yeah, the bar's clean. It's not plugged up. Uh, the o the oiler for the bar is working good. I just don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a different mount bar that I got, why it's smoking, but I just, I've tried to fix it and fix it and fix it, but it just, uh, I don't know what's going on with it. But whatever, there you can see the gnome. Okay, so that's a flap sander. Now I'm going to um, run around and clean. You don't need that orange backing pad on these, but and then, then I'm going to use this uh, Orbit Sander. Just a cheap Mastercraft. I hate Mastercraft tools, but I needed one, so I picked this up for cheap. So, I really want to focus on doing the cap because I want to paint those little white lines on it. And if it's all bumpy and pity and holy, it's hard to do the little white painting. So, I'm really focusing on making the cap nice and smooth. But it doesn't really work out that great. But, good enough. So, the more you... More there I am burning all the fuzzies off. Okay, this is the red bristle brush. You can get it at your local hardware store. 
and uh, this is the most aggressive one and now I'm just going to use this to get the uh, burn look off some of the burn look off and clean the fuzzies this is western red cedar if I didn't say it dry okay so here's a full 360 look now you can see there's still some holes in there because I didn't spend enough time sounding it that's my own fault I didn't sound the back that good or the arms that good because it really doesn't matter in my opinion just car carve her up and get her out move on right so there it is and here's some paint here we got some green paint in my hand and I'm gonna paint this guy's hat green just uh, spray paint I do have an airbrush and compressor I'm gonna try and get that going again but uh, I don't know I struggled with it before now this is gloss clear I put when the paint spray paint still fresh I put this over top of it because it seems like uh, it it makes the paint dry faster you're putting some spray paint in that little jar thing now I'm just brushing around the beard and stuff like that and underneath the cap so if I use spray paint you don't get over spray there I'm just filling the rest of it with the spray paint right because I'm away from the cap and the beard over spray I'm such a I'm so careless and messy with the stuff so and I'm just giving some clear and gloss over the red now too it makes the paint dry faster and I'm just giving the face, the nose, and the beard a clear coat. I don't know why, because I end up do painting it. So this is a little plastic jar I had. I had to do it up with tape because it had holes in it. That's all I could find. There's some white dollar store paint. And there I am doing my little my little uh, spirit lines. I, uh, I got this idea from Ben's studio on the lake. He does his own style. I kind of chose my own style. So that's what you can do, people. Like feed off other people's art right but make your own make your own style out of s somebody else's idea you know what i mean i like to give credit to ben for this though and then after i'll pull out a different kind of brush a more round one and i'll put the little they're definitely ben's studio on the lake dots you guys his channel's studio on the lake there's the little dots they're, they're good they, they're good fillers there's the painter in me with the other paintbrush in my mouth I put those little stars on the red too I don't know why but uh, here's me painting the beard white because I just didn't like those stars so I thought if I and this this is darker gray you can't really see on the camera but I thought the white the stars wouldn't on the red wouldn't stick out that as much so I didn't like it it was just too bright so here's a carving fusion trick I do I burned the paint there you go Jess Carver Rob I told you I was coming for you that's not everybody this is a studio on the lake it's not so there's just Carver Rob YouTube and there's studio on the lake YouTube those are both my favorite uh, YouTube channels and this is a studio on the lake I uh, know I call it it's not really Christmas, it's just any kind of gnome you want. I didn't know about these stars, but I said screw it. It's a colorful piece, so might as well make it uh, colorful. I kind of screwed up his nose here, but you won't see that looking straight on it. And for all you guys, especially you just kind of Rob, you think uh, this is all I've done today? I've been up since 7.30 in the morning. I was here at 7.30 in the morning working my ass off. Oh yeah. So let's do this. Abra Cadabra. I think I just made one Jess Carver. No, 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 no. I made two. Yep. Super fun to carve for all the beginning chainsaw carvers. You know, anybody can do these. Just have a good time what you're doing, right? So just carve off. Just carve off. Let's finish this video off. It is it's like a, a grand finale video. This one's for you, just carve off. And this one's for you, Ben Studio on the Lake. Let's just get her done. Hope everybody's good. Grand finale.
Hey, just carved Rob. Super tired, buddy. If I could send this to you, I would. You're a good friend, and uh, you inspire me. So, thank you. You too, Ben Studio on the Lake. You inspire me. And same with Stephen Kenzora. You inspire me too, buddy. No, I'm done. <laughs> Carving Fusion, over and out. Thanks for the support, everybody. With the sunshine on you. Hey, it's uh, Ben, Studio in the Lake here, uh, back at home on the uh, Studio on the Lake, and I uh, just wanted to do some commenting on Jordy's video here. Um, Jordy did a great job on these gnomes. Um, 
really colorful piece. I'm sure all the kids will love it. It just goes to show everybody that it's okay to paint your wood carvings. You know, don't stress it like Jordy did uh, that strip out screw bit at the end there, dropping those uh, F bombs. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so carry on. And here's a little bit of uh, Just Carve Rob's banter for Jordy. When uh, Just Carve Rob, I, I guess he uh, supposedly made some gnome ears and um, some gnome feet boot things. So the bottom of the line is just uh, have fun. Oh, yeah, if you want to subscribe to my YouTube pit page and uh just carve robs the links for the youtube pages will be listed below uh like jordy says carry on carry on getting them done jordy getting them done got a gray beard got to paint his nose and his lips got to go back and paint his the rest of his jacket using the airbrush jordy the rest of his jacket see i signed him right there in his butt there he is there's the upgraded gnome, Jordy. Look, he's even got elf boots. Elf boots, Jordy. Look at them ears on that fella. Woohoo! Got the fur collar going on. Yeah, there's the upgraded elf. Upgraded. He's upgraded, Jordy.